It's been difficult, you know, myself being an ex-player and now a supporter, if you like, of the club. I'm still local to the area. It's It's been tough to see the last couple of years. Mm. I've been doing a lot on the radio. I've seen a lot of their games over the last two, two and a half years. And it really has been difficult. And tonight is such a big game. As you say, if they can get out of the bottom three. The, the thing is, we Stoke, you just don't know what you're going to get. They could go and win there tonight, get out of it and then go on a bit of a run. Yeah. Or they could go there and they could get beat comfortably. You just don't know what you're going to get. No, I think it was a, a gamble with Nathan Jones. I think it was a gamble for him himself. Yeah. Because he was comfortable where he was. He was doing a fantastic job. And it was also a gamble from Stoke's point of view, you know, for someone that's not managed at a club like Stoke yeah. on that sort of level. And it just didn't work out. Everybody associated with Stoke, including myself, wanted it to work because he was passionate. He said the right things. He really wanted to succeed, but... It just didn't, and you know, he brought his own players in. He said, "Judge me when I've got my players in." It didn't work out. The mm -hmm. results didn't come, and ultimately, he gets the bullet. What? Bullet. I think Mr. Gibson's always been good with his managers, hasn't he? He's given them time. He's backed them. Um, and with Johnny Woodgate, I think I think that's going to happen. I think because of the affiliation Jonathan's got with the club as yeah. well. You know, he, he loves the club. He's got the club at heart. He's got all the right ideas, but will he get that time? To implement them ideas I mean in today's football nobody gets that sort of time do they so they have and, and their wage bills always been you know one of the highest yeah. in, in the league that, that, that they've been in so they've obviously looked at that thinned it out but Mr Woodgate's <laughs> feeling <laughs> they left it with open players no I, I've seen Fulham play a few times this year and you know when they're at it they're a good good side free flowing good attacking side but you know over the last few weeks like you say that they've lost three in a row now especially before Christmas as well, when you're going into a period where you need to be full of confidence and full of on the front foot energy, if you like. It's it's a bit concerning if you're a Fulham fan. Do you think Scott Parker... I mean, th th this is the thing that we always talk about in terms of this. You know, Fulham have got the... Clearly, they've got the, the weight. They've got the, the spending power. They've had the recent success. But they've got a rookie manager. So do they have to give themselves a little bit of a, of, 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 of a breathing space to let Scott Parker learn the trade? I think so. I think so. I mean, you know, a few weeks ago, Scott Parker wasn't under the, under the microscope, if Quite. you like, so much. Do you, do you know what I mean? But I think he's young, fresh. I think he's got a great career behind him. He, he knows the game. And I, from, what, from all accounts, from, from what I know and what I've heard, the players really like him and have talked to him. Can't the owner, though, for, you know, breathing space. You don't get us promoted. You ain't getting any breathing well, space. Well, it seems to... I mean, you've only got to go down the King's Road to see Frank really, Lampard yeah. doing the same yeah. thing at the next-door neighbours. He's winning every week. That's the difference. Well, he's not, though, is he? Well, no, I suppose not, but he's winning more than he's losing. And, and what Fulham have to do... That, you look, it's For Scott Barker to come out ahead of today's game, Leeds unbeaten in their last 11 in the league. The idea that a gap of 15 points, it could potentially be up to 15 points, the top two, 15 points ahead of Fulham... Maybe outside of the playoff place if results don't go their way this weekend. I think Leeds win. That ends Fulham's automatic promotion chances. I agree. I agree. And we're not even into the new I, year I, yet. I've got to be honest, I think they've and done Scott, anyway. And Scott Parker has got to be heavily wounded by that, surely. He will be, and he'll, he'll be feeling the pressure. Like you two have just touched on their breathing space. I don't think there's any such thing, being no. a manager now or a first-team coach. I don't think there's any breathing space allowed anymore.